hello guys you're welcome to this lesson so in this video you are going to solve some questions and are the limit of natural log functions okay but before we start solving the questions i want us to look at some two facts the first fact says that the limit of the natural log of x as x approaches zero from the right hand side will be equal to minus infinity and then the second fact says that the limit of the natural log of x as x approaches infinity okay will be equal to what infinity okay these are the two facts okay so with these two facts that we have here you will see that we can't put negative values into the natural log functions right because if you put negative values there you are going to have an indeterminate form okay so for both facts we can't put negative values there okay so that tells us that x cannot be negative okay but can only be what positive okay so in this case if you put positive values that are very very close to zero in this natural log function then you are going to be getting what negative infinity that's what the first fact says same for the second fact also if you put very large values into the natural log function then you are going to be getting what infinity and then also what you have to know is that in this case the x value cannot be what negative because you can't put negative values into the what, natural log functions okay so that means that we can't consider negative infinity in this case but we can consider what positive infinity so those are the two facts those are the two facts that are going to help us solve the following examples okay so now let's look at the first example okay so for the first example we have to find the limit of the natural log of 1 over x squared minus 5x okay as x approaches minus infinity okay so for this question that we have here you might say that why did i say that we can't put minus infinity into the natural log function because you have an indeterminate form and then i'm saying that we are approaching minus infinity okay so let's look at something here i'm going to rewrite the whole expression okay so i can write this as the natural log okay of the limit of 1 over x squared minus what 5x okay as x approaches what minus infinity okay i can write this whole expression as this okay so now let's look at something here okay the only time that any of the two facts will be violated will be when this argument here becomes what a negative value okay that's when the facts will be what violated because i have transformed the expression into this form here okay and then we know that we can't take the natural log of a negative number okay so that means that this argument here okay must not be what a negative number okay so the fact that you are approaching negative infinity doesn't mean that the fact is what violated the facts will be violated if maybe after computing the limit of 1 over x squared minus 5x as x approaches minus infinity and then we get a negative value that's when the fact becomes what violated okay so now we don't know whether it is what violated or not because you don't know the value of what the argument okay which is what i have here okay so until we will know the value of the argument we can't tell whether or the fact is what violated okay so now for us to know we will have to what, compute the limit in the square brackets okay so now let's look at that so for this limit also if you try the direct substitution we know that it is not going to work let's look at that if you try the direct substitution you're going to have one over minus infinity squared okay minus five multiplying with minus infinity okay and then this will give us a value of 1 over infinity minus what infinity which is indeterminate okay because we don't know what value that is okay so we can't consider that as our limit okay so you have to find a way to compute that limit so let's look at that okay so to compute that limit you are going to have the limit as x approaches minus infinity for 1 over x squared minus what 5x okay and then i'm going to do some factorization here so let's look at that we're going to have the limit as x approaches minus infinity and then i will have 
I'll factor out the x squared. So you're going to have x squared bracket open 1 minus 5 over x. Okay, this is what I'll have. Okay, so now we can try the direct substitution. Okay, so let's look at that. Let me clean this part. Okay, so now if we try the direct substitution, you're going to have 1 over minus infinity squared okay bracket open one minus five over minus infinity okay so if we simplify this this value here will become zero okay so at the end we are, we are going to have one over we are going to have one over infinity okay because infinity squared minus infinity squared will give us positive infinity and then multiply multiplying it by one will just give us what infinity so at the end we are going to have one over what infinity okay and then you know that that one over infinity there is a positive value right and then normally we consider this value to be what zero because dividing one by very increasingly large values okay will be giving us values that are very very close to what zero okay so we normally consider that to be what zero okay but in this case it is clear to us that although we are approaching zero but it is not just zero we are going to be what approaching zero from what the right side right because the values that you are going to be getting will be very very close to zero though but they both positive values and not what negative values okay so now we know that although our argument okay will be zero okay but it will be what approaching what zero from the what right hand side okay and then we know that if you are taking the natural log of x and then x is approaching zero from the right hand side then we are going to get what negative infinity okay so now we know that what the fact is not what violated since the argument didn't give us what a negative number but rather positive value that are very very close to what zero from what the right hand side so now let's look at what our answer will be so let me free up some space here okay so now we know that our argument okay although will be equal to what will be equal to zero but it is actually refer it actually refers to values that are what, approaching zero from what the right hand side and then not not just zero directly okay so in this case we can consider this fact here and then use it to determine our answer okay so in this case although we are going to have the natural log of zero but it will not be zero directly because we are approaching what zero from what the right hand side and then you know we don't consider the limit we don't consider what is happening at the exact point which is zero in this case but we consider what is what happening at values that are very very close to the exact point and in this case we are considering what positive values okay and then that was confirmed from the one over infinity that we got we know that as you continue to increase infinity we will be approaching what zero from the what right hand side okay so in this case we are not putting in zero directly but we are assuming that we are going to get what positive value that are very very close to zero okay so in this case we are going to see that what the limit will be called what minus what infinity okay don't worry about the fact that i placed zero there okay although i have placed zero there that although i have placed zero there but let's keep it in mind that it is not just zero okay but rather values that are close to zero but from what the right hand side because you can't take the natural log of what zero okay but you can take the natural log of values that are very very close to what zero from the right hand side and then that'll give us what negative infinity okay so that's the reason why we have our answer to be what negative infinity so let's look at the next example Okay, so the next example says that we should find the limit of the natural log of 7x cubed minus x squared plus 1 as x approaches infinity. Okay, this is what we have. Okay, so I can write this as the natural log of the limit of 7x squared minus 7x cubed minus x squared plus 1 okay 
plus 1 as x approaches what infinity okay so you can find the limit of the expression in this packet here and then that answer will become what our argument okay so we will use that to determine our answer so let's look at that so computing this limit directly we are going to have an indeterminate form okay so you have to do some factorization here okay so let's look at that so we are going to have the limit as x approaches infinity okay i'm going to factor out x cube okay so i'm going to have x cube bracket open 7 minus 1 over x okay and then plus 1 over x cube here okay this is what you are going to have okay so you see that if you do the direct substitution which is going to give us infinity cube okay bracket open 7 minus 1 over infinity plus 1 over infinity cube okay if you do the direct substitution you notice that this value will be zero okay and then this value also be zero okay so at the end we are just going to have infinity cube multiplying seven okay and then this will give us a value of what infinity okay so now we know that we are taking the natural log of what infinity and then from the second fact that that is going to give us what infinity okay and then note that this value here is a positive infinity and not what a negative infinity because you can't take the natural log of what a negative infinity okay so the infinity value that you are putting there must be what positive value thank you very much for watching this video please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel